it's about to be lit and it's a period pool. What's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Q&A slash get to know me. I just want to say thanks everybody for subscribing and for tuning into my channel. It's about to be lit and it's a period pool. So the questions that um, I have to answer is actually um, questions that were asked anonymously by people on my Instagram. So I'm going to get straight to the questions. So, so the first question is, how old are you? I am 22 years old, period. I'm 22. What's your real name? My real name is Kendriana. If you don't know me, my real name is Kendriana. A lot of people know that. A lot of people don't know that. But yes, my real name is Kendriana. And I am 22 years old, honey, okay? So, do you do any sports? No, I do not do any sports. Only sport I do is lashes. And that's not even a sport, but it's a sport in my category. Um, do you like scary movies? I like scary. I used to be so scared of scary movies, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I used to be, like, so scared of scary movies. Like, super scared of scary movies. But now I'm older and stuff, you know, like. So, they don't bother me as much. But, yes. How long did it take for you to save money for your boutique? Um, I it's it's a just a shop like a lash shop. Um, I do lashes here, and I have a, a makeup artist here. Her name is Makeup by Maya. Um, I've been doing lashes for two and a half years now, and I'm just now getting my shop. Um, July 28th, so I wouldn't say it took. It didn't take very long. I could have been got the shop, but. I just kind of didn't want to rush things, so yeah. How tall are you? I think I'm like 5'4", five, 5'3", five, or 5'4". Five, I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. How did you come up with your business name, K Royale? So, I came up with the name K Royale. Poop. Um, because, so my first name start, starts with a K, obviously, and I am royalty, you know. And that's period. I, I, I didn't want to use like K Royal, K Royalty, or nothing like that, because that just seemed like basic, something that everybody do. So I came up with Royal, and I just feel like that's super cute and pretty, and just you know that that fits me. So yes, Royal is the name that I came up with. It means like Royal Royalty. So yeah. How old were you when you started selling lashes? I think I was like 19 years old. This isn't a question directly about you, but what is your perspective of the Summer Walker social anxiety topic? Um, my opinion on the t on that is I just feel like people shouldn't bully others. Like, that's not nice to bully people, and I just really think that, you know, everybody has some type of mental disorder, no matter if it's big or small, and people shouldn't judge other people because of something that they have. You know, you don't know what that girl went through in her life. You don't know what's going on in her life that she has to hide because she's famous like so i just feel like people shouldn't people shouldn't you know bully her because of because she has social anxiety because everybody has some type of mental issue who's your favorite male rapper my favorite male rapper will probably be I, little baby i really don't listen to rap though so i don't think that's like a yeah I, I don't really have like a favorite male rapper what female singer do you like to listen to summer walker of course I like her, I like LMA, I like Kehlani, I like India Ari, I like K. Michelle, I like Monica. Do you journal slash write down your goals? Would you recommend if so? Actually, I just started, where is my, I don't know where my um little planner thing be that I just got, but I actually just got one. Like I just started it, um, started writing down my, like, you know, things that I need to get done, things that I accomplish and all of that stuff. Because I'm just the type of person that just get up and go. Like, you know, whatever happens, happens. I feel like when you plan stuff, it doesn't really go as planned. But I'm trying to, you know, think 
not think that way so i did just give me a little planner to start writing down my my goals and stuff and i do recommend it have you always been mature have you always been mature for your age love that about you um i'm actually like really fucking silly i'm really silly i'm really like goofy and stuff so i don't know i feel like I, i'm mature only because of what i do and the stuff that i have accomplished in life and stuff but like if you really know me you know that i'm goofy 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 would you ever move out of your hometown if so where and yes i would i'm supposed to be moved out of this city but um yes i would i would probably move to atlanta only because i have a lot of followers there and i have a lot of clients there already i'll probably go to atlanta even though that's where everybody moved to i would probably go to atlanta did you go to college yes i did go to college and i actually graduated woo, 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 in two weeks december 13th well in 12 days because this is yeah in 12 days but yes december 13th oh i walked the stage from esthetician school tea. i actually went to school when i first graduated high school in 2015 and i dropped out because it was just too much i didn't like it and i stayed on campus too how do you find the strength and drive to start a business and keep it running love from jamaica oh very um you know how i find the strength and drive to start a business and keep it running um i just you know, I think about my future and where I want to be in life. And that's just, that's like all the motivation that I need. Like, if I don't get up every day and come here and work and, you know, promote and be on my stuff, I feel like, you know, I'm not going to get nowhere. Because sitting on your ass every day is not going to get you anywhere. So, I just think about my future and where I want to be in life. And that's what motivates me to, you know, that's what motivated me to start my business. And that's what motivated me to keep my business going um do you have an everyday routine you do every morning slash day to help you become more successful yes yeah, so basically referring back to what i just answered um i i you know just get up and i promote every day i put my name out there you know people mess with me in milwaukee all around really i have followers all around and every, i love y'all so much i love y'all so so much like because y'all really f with me but yes, like, I don't have an everyday routine that I do to make myself become more successful, but just promote myself and have faith in myself. What is your zodiac sign? I'm a cancer, boo. I'm a cancer. Skincare routine? No, I don't have a skincare. I don't have on face makeup right now. I just have on, um, I just have, like, eyelashes and, um, eyebrows and lip. And this is my real mode just beautiful right just kidding but no um i don't have a, a everyday skincare routine but i am i do want to start getting into that because yeah i do want to start getting into that because i have like different shades of melanin on my face and i want to get it like even so i do if y'all have any root skincare routines comment below so i can start doing that do you ever want to sell clothes again? <clears throat> yes, I do. I really do. And I am going to start selling clothes. People don't know that about me. Like, I, I was selling clothes before, like, everybody start doing it. Like, years ago. If you scroll on my Instagram, you'll see, like, I've been a hustler. Like, I've been selling. I was selling keychains. Listen, I was out here hustling, okay? I had my own little t-shirt line. But, yes, I do. One kids, if so, how many? If I do ever have kids, I probably will have, like one or two favorite hairstyle listen honey my favorite hairstyle was um uh all like blonde i used to love blonde so much but i'm kind of like staring away from blonde i want blonde again like an ash blonde though more you know mature and sexy but my favorite hairstyle right now would probably be still blonde like i'm never gonna go i love color still but probably a long jet black middle part yeah or knotless braids i love my knotless braids how old are you again 22 what made you stop the bu clothing line oh, i don't know honestly like i don't know what made me stop that my clothing line i don't know but i don't know what made me stop it like that's a good question what made you start doing lashes what made me start doing lashes it i used to go to atlanta a lot like I used to go to Atlanta a lot and they do lashes a lot there and this was before anybody in the city like I only name like 
one or two people here that was really doing lashes um, when I started doing lashes. And I when I was to be in Atlanta and they charge a lot there and everybody was getting it. and I'm like, you know what, that's a good idea. Like I think I should start doing lashes and take it back to Milwaukee because not a lot of people wasn't doing them. And I took the training, um and Yeah, like I was just popping ever since then. Tips on tips on starting a business. Um tips on starting a business. Um, I, you know what, just stay consistent, like stay consistent, have faith in yourself, invest, 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 like you have to spend money to make money, and I just, I'm gonna just tell y'all, like really invest your money, no matter if you feel like, oh, I only got a thousand dollars, like invest 800 or invest 500, like, cause you have to spend money to make money, just think about it, like you're gonna make it right back. Do you like chicken feet? That's weird, ew. No, I never had that. Um, what made you want to start a YouTube and will you be consistent? I started my YouTube because everybody been on me about starting my YouTube, like, really badly. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just start my YouTube because I just need to start. Like, and I don't really post my personal, personal life on social media. So, I think this is a good idea for me to do. And, yeah, I will be consistent i supposed to been started my youtube i ordered the wrong camera like two months ago and that discouraged me even though like don't let nothing discourage y'all whatever y'all want to do in life do it okay and i should have just when i returned it i should have ordered the right one but i had to do a lot of research to find the right camera and the camera i got is popping honey so yes i will be consistent where do all your investments come from as an income um, right now, my only income right now is lashes, and I love it so much. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. But I do trainings. I teach others how to do lashes. I do classes. And, yeah, I don't have, like, any other job or anything. All I do is lashes. What made you start... What made you start doing lashes, and when did you start doing lashes? Oh, I kind of just answered that question. Um, but, yeah, I started doing lashes two and a half years ago. I took a classic training first. I don't really do classic lashes anymore like that. Like, I got a couple clients that do classic lashes, but volume is what's popping right now. And I took my volume class in Atlanta. Um, her name is Naya Michelle. She is the bomb.com. Yes, that's who I learned my volume lashing from. How old are you? I'm 22. So, yes, that is it for this video. Um... That's just a short brief, you know, get to know me. Um, I will be having more videos so you guys can get to know me. Um, if you have any more questions or anything else you want to know, I told y'all to ask as many questions as y'all wanted to, but y'all didn't really do that. So if y'all want to know anything else, comment below. If you like this video, I need you to subscribe, like, and comment. Tell everybody to come and subscribe to my channel because it's going to be lit, honey. And that's just that on that. So, yes, thanks for joining. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for watching. And I hope to see you guys on the next video. Wondering why, why, why. No, you ain't shy, shy, shy. I'm gonna say bye, bye, bye.